Hi, and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. Now, I cannot begin to tell you how beautiful this place that I'm at at the moment um, in Greece is. Um, I'm on a Greek island. It's a private island as well, actually. And uh, do you know what? I was reading and really having a laugh yesterday, reading all the comments from the videos that I um, did from Greece. Robbie, you bought that island. This, that, blah, blah, they were they're hilarious, man. They were brilliant. And uh, But this island, this actually is a private island. Pool, the view, ocean view. I've got to say, big respect to my friend George who invited me over. Um, uh, it's absolutely beautiful here. I feel like a footballer at this place at the moment. Um, however, I'm not a footballer and I don't have the sort of money to buy this sort of stuff, but it is, uh, it's absolutely wonderful. But, what are the footballers up to? More importantly, what are Arsenal up to in the transfer market? That's what you guys want to know. And uh, let's just dive straight into the rumours today. The first question I wanted to ask was this. What has ever happened to Thomas Lamar? Remember last season, it was all about Lamar. We were trying to get Lamar in at Arsenal. There was a, we tried to pull off a, like an audacious last-minute move when we knew that um, Alexis Sanchez could be moving out the other way we went and we bid a hundred million euros for uh thomas lamar which was rejected by monaco um he ended up staying at monaco he's had a decent season at monaco he hasn't had a poor season he's had a decent season he's in the french national squad but will arsenal go back in again this summer for thomas lamar there's been a lot of talk that liverpool are looking at him and it's, you know he was asked a lot of questions last week about you know do you regret not moving and stuff like that? And he's made all the right noises, saying things like, well, this and I let my agents get on with that and blah, blah, blah. But I just get the feeling that Thomas Lamar must be sitting there thinking, what if, what if, should I have moved, you know? But I wonder if Arsenal will go back in for him this summer. Again, it will not be cheap. It will be a very, very expensive deal. You know, it's not going to be something that's going to get cheap. Will Arsenal go back in for him? That is something that we're going to have to wait and see. I um, I kind of don't think so because of the amount of money, the amount of money it will cost. But Thomas Lamar, <laughs> it's a great one. What will happen? Now, whilst we're talking about uh, French players, what about um, Ousmane Dembele? Spoke about him a lot on the show yesterday. And um, France actually had a friendly yesterday in which he played. He scored a fantastic goal in the game. Uh, France beat in Italy by um, three goals to one. As I said yesterday, he's going to be one of the stars of the World Cup. Now, my understanding of it is that Arsenal are very, very interested in trying to get Dembele to Arsenal. Um, Miss Lintat has made contact. Of course, Miss Lintat instrumental in bringing him into uh, Dortmund when he came from Rennes. Um, the problem is he's going to cost, again, a hell of a lot of money. Um, you know, you've got to say that he's worth more than Lamar even. And uh, there's been talk that Arsenal might try and get it done through a loan deal. But Barcelona, you know, as they like to do and uh, rebuild and buy the next biggest thing, will probably be more interested in getting a load of cash in for... Um, Usman Dembele. There's been a lot of talk that £87 million would be what Barcelona would be willing to accept for Usman Dembele, which if the case, if that is the case, surely that would be doable from Arsenal. I know we've heard all these rumours about there being limited budgets and stuff like that. But if they moved on certain players, etc., surely it's something that can get done as a <laughs> wasp goes around my head. Um, but, um, Let's keep an eye on this one this summer. Let's keep an eye on this one. Of course, the other downside of it is that we don't have Champions League football. And this guy is a guy that's going to be playing in the World Cup and will want to be playing at the highest level. And that is going to be something that's going to affect us right throughout this transfer market. Although we do have the fact that we have Sven Mislintat, um, who knows um, Dembele. So let's see what happens with that one. Uh, Yassin Audley. Now, I spoke about him yesterday yesterday couple of days before as well. I remember I was giving you the joke that my friend was saying I was shopping at Aldi instead of shopping at, you know, Waitrose. Um, 
Yassin Adli, 70 years of age. There's been a lot of talk that he's going to sign for Arsenal, that Arsenal have sort of moved in. And because of Unai Emery's influence on him, he's decided to move to Arsenal instead of signing a new contract at Paris Saint-Germain. He's a hot, hot prospect uh, midfielder. Well, a lot of talk today um, coming out of France, from particularly from Le Parisien, that Real Madrid have uh, moved in and uh, moved in to make a last-minute move to hijack the whole deal. They want to bring him in. They've recognised the talent. Um, and again, when Real Madrid come in, you're in problems. However... Um, the influence of Unai Emery might push him over the line for Arsenal. But again, this is another one we're going to have to keep an eye on. Of course, I'm over here in the beautiful island of uh, Greece at the moment. And uh, the big talk over here is all about Socrates. Will Socrates um, be leaving Borussia Dortmund and uh, be heading over to London to take up his place at Arsenal? Uh, you may have seen the video that I did yesterday where I said that I got to the airport and I was speaking to the manageress of Hertz. Yes, I've got my ITKs as well, right? And uh, she was telling me that uh, Socrates is a um, is like a client of theirs and um, that he has t already said to her that he's moving to London. Now, there's only one club in London. We know that there's only one club in London, which is us, Arsenal. But there's only one club in London that's actually been... Um, actively trying to get him and that is Arsenal so um, you know putting two and two together based off of what she was saying um, he should be on his way to Arsenal I know I know it's a real ITK moment it really made me laugh when she was telling me this uh, we've heard all these stories over the years uh, from local estate agents saying that the player has been looking at properties in the area and stuff like that but uh, it was it was uh, funny when she was telling me that and she was being deadly serious though it does look like that move is going to happen when, I don't know, might get announced uh, next week. Um, and I've got to say, like, uh, I've spoken to about three, four people so far. I'm going to try and speak to some more people today about Socrates. And they're all talking him up over here. Now, I don't know if that's because, obviously, he's a Greek player and, uh, you know, one of the most well-known Greek players. So, they're you know, obviously, they're going to be really talking him up. But they're all really convinced that, listen... This guy will do well at Arsenal. He's a very strong defender. Um, he's a leader. Um, and we think, you know, he'll do well at Arsenal. And, you know, um, the one guy I was chatting to last night, he said to me, he goes, much better than um, Mustafi, much better than um, Koscielny as well. So it could be a very positive signing. And it will add a lot of experience um, to that back line at Arsenal. But it does um, look like it's going to get done that Socrates will be moving to Arsenal. If he doesn't come, um, Arsenal have apparently uh, drawn up uh, um, another target that they might go in through, and that's uh, going for, and that's Abdou Diallo of Mainz, a uh, French defender, and he's valued at around about £20 million. And uh, it's said that Sven Mislintat has uh, put him down as like target number two if he's unable to get Socrates. I look on it and I think that we need two. Um, centre-backs but it's starting to look to me that Arsenal are probably looking at and thinking one centre-back if the one centre-back is only Socrates I st it still leaves me a bit worried I I'll be honest with you I do I really do feel that that is an area of weakness for Arsenal we saw it last season and it really needs to be addressed with a real top top player but um, it's looking like Socrates is the top pick and if that doesn't happen then uh, Ab Abdu um, Diallo will be the other person that Arsenal will be chasing to um, bring in to replace him. Another new name being linked with Arsenal today is uh, Bernard. Now, Bernard um, plays for Shakhtar Denex. Uh, he's 25 years of age, uh, talented, talented midfielder, left-footed, very skillful, um, had a good season last year. But he's come to the um, end of his contract. He's now a free agent. He's been at Shakhtar Dinex since uh, 2013 and uh, Shakhtar, they want him to stay. They want to um, put together a new deal that um, allows him to stay at the club, um, the Ukrainian club. But it's said that Bernard would really like to move on and um, challenge himself somewhere new and that Arsenal is his um, preferred destination. That's what some of the reports are saying. Um, Arsenal are interested in him. Um, again, it's another midfielder. Um, another sort of, a, not not defensive midfielder, creative midfielder. But he's a free transfer. And we know that Arsenal 
always like uh, free deals. You know what I mean? So, and he said, listen, it's not like he's an old man. You know what I mean? He's still uh, a young guy. He's still um, got years ahead of him. Uh, Brazilian player. It'd be interesting to see what happens with that one, but he's been linked. Uh, you know what? On, on that, whatever happened to, again, this is another guy that was linked to Arsenal a lot um, last, uh, not even last summer. It was in the January transfer window, and that was Malcolm. And uh, it's all gone quiet on that as well. Malcolm from Bordeaux. He's not really heard anything about um, Malcolm um, coming over to um, England. We, 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 you know, we, we needed a winger, and I think it was us and Spurs were both looking at him. But it'd be interesting, again, to see if Arsenal revived that because we still need a winger. So will Arsenal try and bring Malcolm in? Again, that's something that we're going to have to wait and see um, if that materialises. Um, Burnt Leno. Now, we've been talking about the goalkeeping situation right since the start of the uh, January transfer window. We still haven't brought a goalkeeper in yet, but Burnt Leno of Bayer Leverkusen has been sort of since the start of the window our number one target. I spoke to you about um, Leverkusen uh, already bringing in a replacement and um, the fact that, you know, it's obvious that it's looking like Leno's going to be on his way out. And uh, Arsenal have been heavily, heavily linked. There's even been a lot of talk that we've already had talks of him. However, will that happen? Will Burn Leno be coming um, to Arsenal? Because now there's a lot of talk today that Roma... Are looking to try and bring Leno in. They, they seem resigned to um, losing their Brazilian international goalkeeper, Alisson, who's the number one goalkeeper for Brazil. Had a great season again last year. There's loads of teams around Europe trying to get him. Liverpool amongst them, as we can see the other day with the carrier situation. They would like to bring in a top goalkeeper. And um, big money being uh, talked about for him. And it's said that uh, Roma now looking at Bern Leno um, and interested in bringing him in as a replacement for Alisson. So if Arsenal are going to try and get um, Bern Leno in, and you know he comes really highly rated from um, out of the Bundesliga, they're going to have to move very quickly because uh, you know there's a lot of competition for these top players. And as I keep saying, we don't have that Champions League football right now. We're a, we're a club in transition. You know, and clubs like Roma, they're, they, you can look on them and say they're more attractive right now than coming to Arsenal with the fact that they've got Champions League football, etc. So if Arsenal are going to get some of these deals done, they're really going to have to move quickly. They're really going to have to come in with the right amount of money. So there's a load of rumours for you there today. Listen, we're going to be keeping the transfer dailies going throughout my little trip here to Greece. It's a beautiful, beautiful country. Um, I'm going to go and chill out for the rest of the day. And if any more uh, rumours or if anything pops up, don't worry, we'll be uh, giving it to you here first. But um, now I think it's time to just take a little chill and just relax. And it is so serene and so quiet up here. Ah, beautiful. Thanks for watching the show today. Have yourself a great weekend.